I watched an interview with Ry Cooter, big hero of mine, a great musician. And it was a long interview that was being, uh, it's on a YouTube video somewhere. And they were, the guy was saying, Ry, I just don't believe all the different things that you have done, all the different projects you've done. Because he's played with everybody. He's made lots of different kinds of records. And he said, how is it that you've been able to make all these different records mm. and explore so many different avenues of music and all that? And Ry Cooter turned to him and he said, because I haven't been very successful in any of them. Uh. <laughs> he said, if I had had a big, big old hit with one of those things, then it would have been really tough for me, first of all, to explore other kinds of music, and second, to deal with not having those hits, the pressure to make another hit, make another hit. Yes. I haven't had very much success, he said. I can do whatever I wanted to. Now, he's enjoyed a lot of success, but the point is still a really good point, you know? The, the, to, he wasn't tied to the kind of, the specific kind of music or a specific identity around it. It's in a way, he was free to do whatever he wanted, including being a lawyer or an anthropologist or anything else. He could do whatever he wanted. Mm -hmm. Remember that we have that freedom, you know? Wow. Where we want to be. I'm curious, like, what drew you to anthropology? Because, it, gosh, it's such a rich, rich field. Yeah, I, I think I got lucky there, too, because I grew up go, going from one country to another from every two years or so, from one way of being a human being, you know, if you will, mm. to a different way of being a human being. The house was full of lots of cultural backgrounds. So right away, this idea of doing, learning about across cultures, like what is it about us that we have no matter what culture we're in? And what is it about us as human beings that changes from culture to culture? You know, how much of us is mm. learned culturally and how much of us is like a human nature or something. I think I started wondering that before I could ever express it, you know, it's like, right. well, because I was just being faced by difference, you know, yes, or diversity in many ways now. And that's what it means is like cultural diversity, really, really dramatic, dramatically different ways of being. And as you're a little kid, you just start going, wow. So Without even realizing what you're thinking, you you start being drawn to those kinds of questions. What what is human nature and what? Uh, so that was really the again an accident, you know, a happy accident. And when it came time to go back to school to please my mom, uh, <laughs> I I had uh, I mean I wasn't sure what to study. I really I knew I didn't want to study music because I knew I did not want to be a musicologist or an ethnomusicologist who looks at music cross-culturally, even though that's fascinating, because mm -hmm. I, I wanted to keep music as an individual creative force mm -hmm. and not become overly analytical about it. I think that's right. I'm not sure that's a that's a reasonable way to view things, but that's how I viewed it right away. So I knew anything but that in a way. I mean, music theory and all that I had been studying all along, but I didn't want to get a degree in something related to music. So the next step was that. And once I got into the anthropology courses and I saw, as you point out, that it tries to look at all of human experience and from our uh, hominin ancestors, you know, like what, what is humanness and how did we get it? And look, mm. I said, I think the answers to a lot of the big questions we have as human beings are are in. You can find them through anthropology. You can find them through cross cultural comparisons and through taking biology and culture and seeing how they interrelate and looking back as far as we can and et cetera. So wow. I, I I love it. I mean, we're not anthropologists are not very good at selling their discipline. I think we're pretty bad at selling. Huh value of anthropology for understanding life and stuff but i even though we're bad at selling it i think it is it is that it provides a really good way to understand even the deeper questions about ourselves so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i got again by accident i got drawn by my life helped me do it uh, i think if i had not experienced so much diversity cultural diversity when i was a kid i wouldn't have necessarily necessarily jumped to anthropology as quickly, if at all. 